What's up guys? Today we're going to be taking a peek at the Sony 325ES 4K projector. Alright, so let's get this thing unboxed and see what's inside. Inside we get the standard Sony remote control. I don't think they really changed much. Some documentation right there. And some batteries in the box as well for the remote. And this is the projector itself. If many of you guys have been following the channel for any period of time, this is actually the third Sony projector that I've had in my home theater. So there is a removable lens cap. What would have been nice if this, if there was a motorized lens cap here, but there's not. I don't think Sony's ever had that before. So on the front here, we have the air intake, outtake on the top. You got some LED lights, your warning light if it's overheating or anything. Auto standby power on. Of course, the Sony logo. If you wanted to, the lamp is behind here. So if you're gonna repair or replace the lamp, you would open up this door and the lamp would go there. Around back is the uh, the intake, I believe the front is the outtake. That's the rear IR sensor. And on the side is your IO, your ins and outs. So on the side here, we have your LAN input, two HDMI ins. They both support 18 gigabits per second. HDMI 2.0, HDCP 2.2. Got your trigger, got your IR input your RS-232 and your USB input as well. So you can do uh, firmware updates. And on the opposite side, we have the power on off, input selector, menu button, selection pad, and the lens button. On the bottom, you have your mounting points for your mount right there. Three mounting points and some adjustable feet if you are going to lay this on like a bookshelf or something like that. So this is a native 4K projector. Resolution is 4096 by 2160. So it's not 3840 by 2160, it is native 4K. So true 4K, this will put out 1500 lumens of brightness. Lamp life is rated at 6,000 hours. It also supports 3D, so for the 3D fans out there, it does support 3D. It's IMAX enhanced. And another very important thing is that the lens is motorized. So you do get about 86% vertical shift and I believe 31% horizontal shift. So you got a big range of motion if you're going to use this and you're kind of slightly off center or of your screen. So this should be very simple to get it dialed into your screen. Now, the new thing with this projector is the X1 processor that's gonna handle all the image processing. The X1 has been in many Sony TV sets and now it's in their projectors. The 325 also has a new dynamic HDR enhancer, which is supposed to adjust the HDR on a frame by frame basis. There's also an anamorphic stretch mode if you're using an anamorphic lens with it. And I'd like to give a shout out to Robert over at Value Electronics for supplying this in for review. So if you guys are interested in this projector, hit up valueelectronics.com. Let them know that we just sent you and Robert will take care of you. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get this hooked up in the theater. I'm gonna give some thoughts and impressions on this and see how it stacks up against my own JVC NX7, which does cost almost twice as much. So let's go ahead and get this thing set up. <laughs> 